Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I am bringing you my new action figure review of Star Wars The Black Series number 11, Chewbacca. So without further ado, let's get started. So the packaging is pretty much a TIE Fighter pilot, um, and then we can see Chewbacca down here, the figure itself, and then down here we see uh, all the information. There's a warning label, um, number 11 Chewbacca. It's got that little uh, assortment number and a profile picture of Chewbacca in black and white. Hasbro's off to the side. Um, they actually have it taped on. There's some tape up here and on both sides. And additionally, the sides of the cart are bent. Now, um, this I did get this off Amazon, so it was shipped to me, so that's probably uh, part of the problem, but I think that they could have made the boxes uh, a little bit more sturdy to begin with, if that makes sense. Um, so if we look at the back of the box, this uh, figure of Chewbacca is based off of him at the uh, Yafin ceremony, so it says, Chewbacca stands with his friend Han, Solo, friends Han Solo and Luke Skywalker at a ceremony to recognize the Rebel Alliance victory at the Battle of Yavin. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, now let's open this bad boy up and see what he's made of. All right, we have him out of packaging, and this is an absolutely wonderful figure. This is probably my favorite Chewbacca figure that they've come out with. This is just awesome. Now, the bowcaster, I don't think, is the best part of this figure, and I'll go ahead and show that to you guys first. All right, so here's the bowcaster with Chewbacca holding it, and um, first of all, this came in two parts. The part that you see now, and then this uh, front part with the two balls at the end, and uh, yeah, so I had no idea how to put that together at first because I have not studied Chewbacca's bowcaster uh, to a pulp and I have no idea uh, what it is supposed to look like. So I had to look it up, I figured it out finally, and then I'm like, well, how am I supposed to fit this together? It doesn't fit. You have to take this uh, little small opening and you have to put that inside uh, where the huge bulb uh, where the like you have to put one of the sides with the huge ball thing in it and then if it'll focus come on camera um does not want to seem to be focusing today um and then you like you have to lift it up pretty high um to spread it apart to get that thing inside and then just kind of clip it in place and it stays i just would have much preferred it come this way instead of me having to stretch out the accessory now it's very nicely detailed uh they put a lot of sculpting into this and it looks really nice but they ruined it by just giving it one uh layer of gray paint it doesn't even have shades or anything to it and it's just really ugly looking i think um it just looks like a huge piece of piece of plastic and I think they could have done much better with it so I'm gonna take it out of Chewie's hands for the rest of the review because I think he looks better without it this is a really awesome Chewbacca figure um, so the articulation on this guy is a ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees you may want to be careful with it though um, shoulders rotate around and out, uh, out 360 degrees uh, elbows rotate around th and uh, uh, three and <laughs> out 360 degrees, and then the wrists rotate around 360 degrees. Now he has two uh, waist articulation things. One, uh, you can't really turn because of this pauldron thing. I mean, you can turn it. I just did it, so um, I guess there's one of it. Uh, so his waist has that uh, point of articulation, that point of articulation, so two points of articulation in the waist, which is really cool. Um, I think most of the Chewbacca figures do that. I don't know if Wookiees are actually that flexible. Um, his legs can bend out about this much. It's, um, it's a bit restricted by the uh, fur. There's a little bit of soft fur hanging out there, so... Um, yeah, and then his knees bend backwards and around 360 degrees and his feet rotate around 360 degrees and downwards So uh, yeah, really nice figure um, Let's zoom in on him and look at the sculpting and paint job because just wow this figure is so beautiful um, Get it to focus No focus just give it a second. Okay, so um Aside from his eyes, which are just look completely derpy, um, the sculpting on his face just looks so nice. It looks like the fur, like they just, they didn't make it just one, I guess, flat, uh, uh, 
piece of fur, they actually made it to where uh, you can see uh, various lines throughout of it, and it looks really nice. You sh uh, if you guys saw this in person, you would probably think it looked a lot nicer than um, you can see on camera, which is... Uh, probably sounds a bit silly to say because it looks really nice on camera already. Um, his mouth is open and you can see the inside of his mouth. His teeth look really nice and uh, you can see a little bit of purple for his tongue. Uh, we go down and you can see just the fur and how it just continues to be sculpted beautifully. Um, we have this pauldron messenger bag thing that goes down around him which looks really nice. Um, we have this cut off here where the fur gets a lot darker on the legs and then we have his feet. Now the feet are uh, is part of my favorite uh, or is probably my uh, one of my favorite parts on this figure. Um, the feet uh, aside from being some of the best articulated um, and just best sculpted and just best feet on a Chewbacca figure to date, um, they look really nice too. Uh, the toe, the toes on them look really good and just all around the fur looks really good on him. I absolutely love this Chewbacca figure. I have actually not gotten a Chewbacca figure that uh, looks as nice since probably the Clone Wars one. Um, but now it's nice to have an actual realistic uh, Chewbacca. So um, all around this is a really great figure. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5. His bowcaster was a bit of a letdown, but I don't think that that really takes away from the Chewbacca figure as a whole. Um, you can't really fit this around him either because it just looks silly. Um, yeah, you can see it just like looks really silly. <laughs> Um, but all in all, this is a great figure. I would probably give him a 5 out of 5. This figure is absolutely wonderful and is pretty much a must-have if you don't have a Chewbacca figure yet or if you're just looking for a better Chewbacca figure because this is the best out there. Now, is it worth the new price point? Um, as some of you, uh, many of you probably know, um, the new Black Series figures have gone up in price quite a bit. They're like $13.99, $14.99, depending on where you can find them. And with tax, it can be, it will pretty much bring you over to over $15, no matter which way you look at it. So, you know, is it worth $15 for a, uh, action figure that is three three quarter inch i don't know you tell me i don't think the price is worth it but i'm still a collector and i you know i still get these things um i'm a bit disappointed in the price and hope that it goes down a bit i won't be getting as many figures but um i will still be getting the ones that look really nice and this is one of the best ones from the uh that hasbro has out right now i believe so um that's pretty much it for my review thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe for more awesome reviews and whatnot and and until next time, Boba7772 out.